rundown on what was the motivation behind this, what are you looking to do, and maybe give us an introduction of who your staff is. Sure. Well, first of all, thanks for all coming. I know for me, uh, I get the emails about the ribbon cuttings, and I have every intention of going, that I get busy as something, and lately I haven't been making very many of them, uh, but I love going to them. I used to go to them all the time. But you guys are all busy too, and I appreciate you taking a little bit of time to come celebrate with, with us. Uh, but I want to introduce uh, staff. Um, Brian Bennett over here, the tall guy, you can't miss him. He's my partner in the car wash. Um, I got my daughter, Caitlin, uh, who uh, uh, she is uh, weekends here, and then she works at the campground just right down the street uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, and uh, Trish, she uh, pays all my bills, takes care of all that, and she's my right hand. Uh, she's the one that, you know, when I'm gone, or even when I'm here, she's really the go-to person. Um, and Trish is still on maternity leave. I think you can probably figure that one out. Uh, she'll come back uh, later next week, is it? And I am so thankful. Uh, I know I don't do her job very well, so I, I know that. Um, and uh, see Ephraim back there. Yeah. Uh, Ephraim Howdy. takes care of the car wash full time. He's weekdays at the car wash. Um, and then the main reason we're here is Tyrion. Tyrion yeah. comes from all the way from California. Just moved here how long ago? Like three months ago. Three months ago. Yeah. Uh, came here to be with family and, and raise his uh, uh, son. But uh, Tyrin had a mobile detail shop in uh, California out there, and so he would have a van. He'd go around and clean it wherever you were out there, and so it was a good fit. I've been working with Express for a long time, trying to get this detail business off the ground, and uh, Express, oh, they're a chamber member, right? Right. Uh, they, uh, we struggled and struggled, tried to find the right person, and uh, Missy, who's no longer at Express, gave me a call and said, Tom, I got the perfect guy for you. <laughs> and so that's uh, just wasn't very long ago, Tyrin came on board. So we've been focusing on getting this shop already. Uh, and uh, eventually we get this thing taken off and built. I hope to build uh, a detail bay with some other uh, shops right on this vacant lot over here. But we are renting this bay from AA Self Storage and it works out good because it's right next to the car wash. Um, but a little bit of why we're doing this. I don't know how long it's been, Ephraim, Trish. Years. We get phone calls all the time and, do you guys offer detailing? Do you offer detailing? We had to say no, 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 for years. And so it's really been, if you look, I looked at my old file and it was 2013 when I started the idea of trying to get the uh, detail bay going uh, and offer that service. And uh, about that time, um, another mobile detailing shop opened up and it just recently closed down this last spring. And and I knew uh, Russell Sennard, you guys may know Russell, uh, he, when he closed down and took another job, I said, okay, I gotta do it now. Russell's shutting his doors, I'm gonna open mine. So we've been at it uh, since the spring, trying to get everything geared up for that. And uh, I see some of my customers in the crowd, so I appreciate that. We right now are doing it by appointment only, uh, but we eventually will have weekend. I want to have a Friday, Saturday person for sure. So that you can come in if you want a quick clean without an appointment, uh, detail, you'll be able to do that here. We're not geared up for that yet. So right now it's by appointment only. Um, and uh, we will do appointments on weekends, uh, but right now we're, ma we're maintaining the Monday through Friday hours. So, um, um, what I leave out? 